Hey you, so what do you think about my purse? Today we have another amazing update by Free Pick. It's like Christmas every week with all of these new updates. Now we already got the custom characters and custom styles. This one is going to be very beneficial. But now it's time to go ahead and add custom objects. This is where you can actually train an object and now have the same exact object appear in every image moving forward. Oh yay! So you mean I can like have a Christian Dior purse in every image? You can mix objects with custom characters and styles for aligned visuals. On the left hand side, it's called object and it operates and is trained the same way as like a custom character. Now the start, let's just see what they have to work with. Now we already have some defaulted selections that we could choose from. These are already gonna be in here from free pick. Now again, for an example, if I wanted this same purse to appear in every image and it didn't matter what character it was or what type of scene it was, selecting this toaster or this perfume or even wearing this watch, it's going to appear the same across the board. So right here, let's go ahead and select smartwatch. So just basically type in a prompt, okay? So make sure you tag the actual object. It's going to be smartwatch, okay? A man at a tech conference standing up. Now in order to use this, we have to use a model that can use characters and styles. So Flux works and also Mystic is going to work as well. Mystic 2.5 and Mystic 1.0, okay? So while this is waiting, let's go ahead and just create our own. I'll go ahead and add this plus button. And let's say for an example, I wanted to add a purse. Just fill in the important information right here. But first, what do we do to get that image of that purse? I'll show you a great example on how to do just that. So what I did earlier was I created a few purses. So in my documents, here are all of the current Dior images I just created in free pick. So let me go ahead and open up this prompt right here. And you can see the images it provided me did do a very good job, okay? So all you have to do is just use a prompt similar to this one. But first, let's see how our man turned out with the smartwatch. And look at that. That is incredible. That is exactly what we were looking for. And again, this time this guy is holding it. So I do have to probably specify in the prompt a little bit better my exact details. But now let's really take things up a notch and go to the next level. And now here are all of my images right here. Now here's the prompt right here. Okay. I copied it and I'll go ahead and just go ahead and paste it in. Now in order to get the same image over and over again, it's quite simple. There's the prompt. Let's go ahead and just generate that. If not, the other thing you can do is once you generate that and you get your first selection of images, let's just say we get all these right here. All you have to do is hover over the prompt and just simply select reuse prompt. And then just like that, just select the generate. And so in order to get those 15 to 25 images, just keep repeating that step over and over again. You just want similar images like these right here. I just got download each one that looks very similar because you want to actually train it in the bottom left hand side. Let's hit that plus button and go ahead and open up a new object to be created. I'll just name it Dior Purse like that. Add images, go ahead and click it. Now, I like to choose my quality to be ultra. And so you can see it right there. There is my zip file. It's called Dior purse.zip. Okay, I went ahead and uploaded the whole entire thing. There is my zip file. And let me go ahead and add a brief description. Now, just like that, let's go ahead and create our object now. Now, this time while we're waiting, I'm going to go and choose a different object. And this time I'm going to go ahead and choose this coffee table right here. Now in your prompt, go ahead and say something simple like this. And I just said a middle aged man at a coffee shop sitting next to a and then I just added that object. Okay, an eclipse coffee table. He's going to be sitting there. I can also turn on a AI prompt to make it a little bit better and improve it. Okay, so it looks like our object is done, and now here it is right here. That's the exact one I just made, Dior Purse, okay? But first, let's take a look at the images that we just got a few minutes ago. Now again, we did that coffee table. Let's see how these turned out. And here they are right here, middle, middle aged man sitting at that table. And if I go through each of the images, Every single table is identical. Amazing job. Now for the true test. Let's see how good of a job it can do with my own custom Laura. Now over here, let's go ahead and select object. Now I can come in here and click it and just select my selection, or I can actually just tag it by simply using that at symbol and then just starting to type Dior. There we have that Dior purse. Now I have my AI prompt enhancer turned on. Let's now see how good of a job this does. Okay. Wow. Now there you have it. Look how good of a job it did. Now remember my prompt prompt was just very basic. Again, down here below, I can look at all these images. There's that purse. 
purse, Dior purse, black purse, amazing. Now, let's take things to a whole new level. Let's go to my database and go to my actual free pick section. And what I wanna do is use one of my favorite prime prompts. I'm gonna go ahead and copy this whole entire prompt. Let's go ahead and generate these. While that's thinking, I'm gonna come and choose another prompt as well, because I really like those editorial style ones, okay? Here's one right here. This is gonna give me a full body shot. Let me look at the images I should expect to get. Okay, there we have that. But first, look at the ones I got in Flux. Wow, fantastic. I think it gave me exactly what I was looking for. Again, here we have that. Let me go ahead and tag my Dior purse. It's tagged. We'll do it utilizing Flux, but watch this. Remember, we can combine a few things. So this time, let's add one of my AI influencers. So I'm gonna tag her. I hit that at symbol, and now let's do at Sophia, okay? Four images of Sophia. I'll do the same thing, but this time I'll also do it utilizing my other AI influencer, my OG, we're gonna use Luna. Eight images in total are being generated. Wow, now look at these. Here are my images of Sophia specifically. And look, all of the purses are definitely that black Dior purse. And now let's go up to the top. And now my other AI influencer, Luna, all four of these images, perfectly done. Now in this image here, it didn't provide the purse. That's okay. But these three did. And again, they're all going to be that black Dior style purse. So there you have it. Another amazing update by Free pick. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And remember, if you like this video, please remember to hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next time.